society has always been defined by the materials that we use, from the Stone Age to the Bronze Age to today's information technology based on silicon. The 21st century is being defined by the biotechnology revolution, which has changed the world through advances in medicine. In our lab, we're applying biotechnology to work to invent the next generation of materials. By addressing fundamental scientific questions of physics and physical chemistry that underlie materials engineering, we're transforming material construction and consequently performance of elastomers, nanostructured materials, and engineered proteins. Let's go have a look. Although synthetic elastomers date back to 1912 with the first installation of car tires, their irregular structure makes linking chemistry to properties an engineering mystery. We aim to uncover how the fundamental characteristics of network materials influence their formation and performance by studying, for example, the effects of topological loops or chain dynamics. The fundamental understanding of gels and networks that we are developing helps us design new materials for engineered tissues and hemostats, and more recently, deconstruct vulcanized car tires to facilitate recycling and improve sustainability. While the irregular structure of elastomers imparts superior mechanical properties, the regular nanostructure in block copolymers presents a unique method for the stabilization of enzymes for green chemistry, decontamination, and pharmaceutical spinning We have shown that the principles of microphase separation in dye block copolymers can be extended to bioconjugates of a protein and a polymer, and have developed tunable, functional biocatalysts and biosensors by creating bioconjugates of various enzymes and antibodies. We have also used dye block copolymers with the charge block to form micelles with enzymes, which improves their stability in harsh environments and enables applications like heavy metal testing in water around the world. In addition to building systems to protect natural proteins, we also invent engineered proteins with unique properties. Using nature as an inspiration, we have created recombinant proteins that mimic the selective filtering mechanism of the nucleopore membrane and are using these materials to filter biological toxins. The group is also developing sustainable materials with desirable mechanical properties by incorporating cross-linkable proteins into polymers. These materials utilize agricultural byproducts and waste sources and remove the need for toxic intermediates in home construction and your automobile. Making these innovations requires a strong interdisciplinary approach that bridges biology, chemistry, and physics. People from eight different academic disciplines and four continents contribute to our team preparing to be leaders in academia, industry, and the government. We are the Olson Lab, and it's our hope that in the near future, you'll use many of our materials, making the world a safer and more sustainable place while improving your quality of life.